Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donnie Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry, thrilled to be with you today. And I have something fun to share with you. We're gonna be using my signature brushes. And to start using those, I wanna share with you different brushes. And we're gonna do a few weeks in a row where I'm gonna show you different brushes and how to use them out of my 13 most used brushes. So let's get started. So we're going to use some scrapbooking paper today and we are going to use my signature brushes and what I have decided to do is to work all through the next few lessons teaching you different brushes out of the 13 most used brushes and what I would use them for so that you can get comfortable with them. I'm going to use the number eight round brush today and I want you to hear that. That's cleaning the sizing out of the brush before we get started, okay? So when you get the brushes, they're stiff because they've got sizing in it. So they, they keep their nice tips and edges. So we're gonna go over different brushes. We have a collection of flat brushes, a collection of scruffy brushes. We have this round angle, filbert, two script liner, rake brush and fan brush. So we're just gonna go across and teach you each lesson about these brushes so that you see how important they are to you. Now I want you to know I do have the, the standard value brushes that are all the dark green brushes and they say um, one stroke Donna Dewberry scruffy and this is the difference. This is the signature brush has all of the um, specialty brushes in florals and my roses and the rest are lavender and white, all right? So these are really good. There's a value pack for $16 on onestroke.com, one, O-N-E, stroke.com. And on onestroke.com, there's 10 brush value pack is about $16, okay? So I want you to know the first thing I've done, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna put floating medium in the center of my double loader. This double loader helps you to double load when you don't think that you're getting it. You'll be happy, happy, happy to see that you can. All right, so this is the fluff that's inside the pigment with paint. <laughs> this is the fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment in it. Okay, so we have rich creamy paint. So I'm putting out just a few colors that will look pretty for what we're doing. I'm doing that was wicker white and we've got pink melon. And this is the uh, folk art multi-surface, which paints a wood, glass, ceramic. It's got a sealer in it. It's just yummy. All right. And I am going to put out a little bit of a green. So what I hope that you will do on these practice strokes is that you'll watch me do this. We're going to use the round brush today. And then you practice and come to our Facebook group and share what you practice so that you inspire other people to come on. And we will go to the next how to's next week. And so we will just build our talent of using these brushes, okay? So I'm gonna tap it so they get next to each other, all right? Now we're not gonna double load traditionally on this. We usually double load in between the two so that you pick up both colors. But with the round brush, we load it different. So I'm gonna have a paper towel. I'm going to take and wet the brush, like I said, lay it on the paper towel to get the excess water. And then I'm going to, it's a little flat when you do that. I'm going to pick a pink melon on one side and roll it over and grab white. All right, so let's see how this works. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm laying the white down, I'm putting pressure and I stand up ever so gracefully. So let's put the pink melon down and then let's pick up. All right, so you want pressure, lift, pressure, lift. All right, so I keep coming over and grabbing paint 
and see I can go right inside here and do a second pickup and right in here and do a third one. All right, so let's go over this again. I'm gonna do a chrysanthemum. So to do this, I'm gonna push here and come around, push here. I'm right on top of it so you can't see me, so let me do this. Push here and come around. Can you see that? I just wanna match that, so I'm gonna come right here. Okay, so let, let's keep putting it here so you can see me pick up. All right, so we're gonna do another one and another one. So we're gonna pick up white, there, there, and one in the middle. Okay, so I can come back here because that's that white's not showing too well. Or the white's showing better than the pink melon. All right, so look, I grab the white, the white's up. As I stroke, you would think whatever's down would be the one that shows. All right, so I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna push down and come around, pick up white, push down and come around. So push, lift, push, lift. And the pressure gives you the pretty shading. The pressure puts the pretty shading. So see the layers? All right, let's come out here, out here. Another pressure release, pressure release. What's good about this brush is it gives you a nice rounded tip. And with a flat brush, you don't necessarily get that, right? So we're gonna come here, pressure and lift up. So those were all coming down and these are coming up. All right, so I'm gonna go like this so y'all can see it better. Pressure lift. Pressure lift. Okay, now I just laid my finger in this so I'm gonna fix it up. There we go, a little bit more. All right. So now at this point, I can say I want a little bit here and a little bit there, okay? I can also do these little like daisies, but I'm gonna push and pull and do some little buds. This is a little bud, four, and we put one down for uh, the chrysanthemum, all right? I want to do some green in just a minute, but while I've got these colors, let's come here and show you a daisy. Now a daisy stroke, I'm going to push and stand up and I'm going to make a clock. All right, now the same stroke, push and lift, can also be good for other blossoms. See, I put three in there. One, two. All right, and on this side, I just did one in the middle and one of both sides. All right, so we're gonna come around here, add a little bit more white. And that's the beauty of one stroke painting. If you mess up or you're not happy, you just pick up more paint and restroke. So isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm just picking up, picking up. There we go. All right, now we will put, take the handle of the brush and dip, dot. Dip, dot, 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 dot. Okay, so we made little centers. All right, so I also, I'm gonna pull some stems to this, but I want you to see that, um, there's a, another flower that I like where I do a trumpet. So here's the trumpet. Okay, so then I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna put this there so y'all can see me get the paint. I keep forgetting. We're gonna, I'm gonna wipe this off and let's pick up a little bit of paint. And we're gonna do push, lift, all the way around. 
And I want to kind of do it like the shape of a bell. Okay. All right, and it comes right in here to the trumpet. Then I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna pick up little bits of white. So you just stroke a little bit of white on here. And then look at this, we're gonna come a little bit lower. A little bit of white. There we go. All right, so all I do on that one is I can put a little bit of a liner and put some stamens, or I can just put that little center in there, all right? Now, you can still come in here and add a little bit of white on top of that pink melon. Okay. Now I'm going to wash that off and let me show you. We're going to pick up some of the same brush, some citrus and some green. All right. And I'm going to come right in here. I'll pull down. Now the way I do this, I want you to see is my little finger pulls me. All right. So boy, that's a bad shadow. Shadow. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna pull this down. Now what's really fun, a little bit more each time, I grab the, the citrus green and sap green. I'm gonna come right here, grab this little guy and pull it over and down. All right, now let me show you what happens here. We're gonna turn this around so you see me get the citrus and the sap, citrus green, sap green. I'm gonna push and lift, all right? And over here, all right? You have some little ones here. And then a few little ones over here, all right? I'm gonna roll this, but I just want you to see I'm going to pick up and pick up. All right. So I'm going to come right here without a shadow. I'm going to come right here. Then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, Okay, we have a leaf. Now I can come right here with a bigger leaf and there with a bigger leaf. Now this is just a round brush and I just want you to see it does beautiful comma strokes and any flower that has a little rounded tip, you can make a beautiful flower and put a center right in the middle. So just quick little buds. This is a little trumpet flower because the tip is also a little point and you can put those little pointed center in there and make the bud and right in here, the whole chrysanthemum. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? There we go, little bud and a little chrysanthemum. So in there, cause I don't think y'all saw that. Little teeny dots. To make the center. And this one I use the handle of the brush, but I want to print some dark in there. All right. So one last time, let's do the strokes right down across here. We're going to go push and lift, push and lift, push and lift. All right. So what I really want to see you do is we push down and then we lift right away, push down and lift. One, and now look what we can do here. We can turn it upside down and watch this. We're gonna push and then come right across the top and look how pretty that made that leaf. Isn't that pretty? One more time. One, 
All right, so now let's pick up the citrus this time and watch me cross over. I'm gonna go all the way across. Oops, shadow. There we go. I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna stand up to there. So isn't that pretty? Hey, there we are. A couple of different fun leaves. Can't wait to see you next week and see if you like what I'm gonna share with you with another signature brush. So dot, push, stand up, push, stand up, and I'll see you next week. Practice, practice.